Hi, I'm Holly McLean for Train Lee TV, and today we're going to be talking about the product that started the entire company, and that is their rail bender. About 15 to 20 years ago, Axel was building a railroad, and Joanne purchased this rail bender from overseas in Switzerland. Showed up here, and it's a dual rail bender. Now, fast forward, they've sold thousands of these rail benders over the years, and it is a, in my opinion, one of the finest rail benders in the market. I have had, uh, over the last 20 years of building railroads, laid thousands of feet of track and used many different types of rail benders, most of them being the single rail bender where you run a rail through it one at a time and then put your ties on. Very time consuming and also a little bit difficult to get the rails to match up evenly without a, not a lot of practice. So. This rail bender here is one of the original rail benders, and matter of fact, it still has Axel's name on it. And this one's almost uh, at least 15 years old, and we've been using this on a regular basis in all different types of conditions. Snow, dirt, it's been left out in the snow, and sand and dirt, and gravel, and rain. Uh, it has also been dropped uh, many times, and it still works as well as it did the first day when they took it out of the box. So what's nice about these is that they are made in Switzerland and obviously you know that Switzerland is known for building precision products and they last a long time. All right, well let's fast forward about 15 years and we have now a new and improved version of our dual rail bender. A couple of minor modifications is we trim the edges here to make it a, a little bit more lower profile, which makes it easier to work in tighter places as you're laying your track. If it's uh, going through a, a trestle or a bridge or a tunnel or something like that. Also, we've anodized this rod here, which gives a nice contrast to the numerical values here. It makes it easier to see, especially if you're working outside. Let's take a little bit closer look at this dual rail bender. It comes with the two levels, so you can go ahead and keep track of your side to side on your track as well as your grade up and down. This is the handle that you use to slide it back and forth across the tr up and down the rails as you're bending it. And then as you tighten this up, this goes ahead and creates the curve in the rails. And once you've gotten the right radius or curve that you want for your rails, you can go ahead and remember whatever this numeric value is and use that to replicate that same curve again in the future. We take a look at the bottom side here. It's pretty simple. These two rollers go up and down that create the radius of bending the rails and then these hold the rails in place as you're sliding back and forth and the whole apparatus slides on top of these two Teflon bars as not to damage the track. So the nice thing about this is you can go ahead and bend your rails in place as you're building your railroad. Very, very nice, very easy to use. So just as a demonstration, I've put in two pieces of rail without the ties so you can actually see how the rail bender works. As you tighten this up, it goes and it will bend the rails between the two other rollers. And you can see we're in a little bit of a bend there. And then as you slide this back and forth, it continues the bend in both directions. Now we're going to show you how easy this is to use and to bend your rail. You want to make sure that it's pretty much opened all the way. And we're just going to bring in a piece of our six foot brass flex track. We've cut it down to about a two foot section just to show you uh, how easy this is to use. And the rail bender just sits right on top of the rail like that. You want to make sure that the rollers are on either side of the rails and that your little Teflon bars are sitting nice and level on top of the rail. And then this should go ahead and just roll back and forth very easily. This roller here will always be on the inside of your curve. So when you want to start a curve, you 
put the, uh, the rail bender on the track, have this wheel right about where you want that curve to start, and you start tightening this up. And you'll feel it get a little bit tighter on the rails, and it still moves nice and easy. Then what I do is I add a couple of quarter or half turns, and I just start going back and forth like this. And as you can see, it's now bending the rails. And you can do this right in place as you are laying your track on your layout, just like that. Now you could go ahead and let's say that it was like, oops, I didn't want to do that. I need to fix this. Super easy to do. Take this off, spin it around, tighten it back up. There, and now your track is straight again. Now what we want to demonstrate is how well this works on even stainless steel track. Now for those of you that have worked with stainless steel track and tried bending those rails, they're a lot stiffer than your normal brass rail. But with the dual rail bender, it works very easily. You just crank this up, go back and forth. And you can get a nice curve even with your stainless steel rails. A little bit harder to turn, but it will still bend stainless steel quite nicely. Now I want to show you what is the real benefit of this dual rail bender from Train Lee is how this can actually help save you on rail as you are building your layout. It will save you on your rail and also save you a lot of time. As you're running your flex track, as you go around your different curves, your rails will then become out of alignment, your joints, and that's perfectly fine with this system. That way you don't have to trim your track at every single uh, connection. These are our rail clamps that we have, and they're low profile, and they are, work fantastic with this rail bender. So I always like to have a little bit of an offset joint when I'm laying my track. I go ahead and tighten this up, and this is our nickel-plated brass track, so it bends as easily as regular brass, brass track, but the maintenance on this is um, virtually nil. We tighten this up a little bit and we just run along and it goes over the rail joints. And so you can connect your track and then bend it in place even if you have a joint. Just like that. And you get a nice curve right over your two joints. We have one additional tool that complements the Train Lee dual rail bender, and that is our Keep It Parallel rail clamp. And it comes for different uh, size rails. So this is the 332 rail clamp. And it holds the rails in place at a 90 degree angle so that when you are finished bending your rails, you can line this up to a switch or another section of track that has the rails cut at the, uh, the same length. So it's very easy to use. This clamps on right here on the track. And you hold it down so it's nice and flat on top of the rails. 
and that will hold these rails in place as we bend the track. Crank this up. So as you can see, we have a nice sharp radius here and this end of the track has stayed in place. This is also a great little cutting jig if you want to trim your rails. You can uh, attach this to the track and whatever cutter you like to use, whether it's a, a Dremel or a grinder or a handsaw, uh, you just go ahead and cut right here. It'll give you a nice 90 degree uh, cut and keep your um, two rails at the exact same distance. So we sell these dual rail benders in different gauges. So this is the G gauge rail bender and we have the O and HO. So no matter what scale you're model modeling in, you can go ahead and use these rail benders uh, on your flex track and they work exactly the same way as the G gauge one. They have the rollers, the Teflon bars, and the numerical scale so that you can keep track of your radiuses for your turns. I'm Holly McLean for Train Lead Tech TV, and I hope you enjoyed our video today. Thank you.